now we get to a very, very important subject. Something called a pathologic fracture of the bone. Guys, do you know a pathologic fracture of the bone obviously is due to metastatic disease. And guys, when I mean a pathologic fracture, I don't mean someone have trauma and their bone breaks where there's a metastatic deposit. I mean, someone is lifting up a bag of groceries and their arm breaks. Guys, pathologic fractures are disasters because in your mind's eye, I want you to think of a pathologic fracture being like an eggshell, like an eggshell. And you break the eggshell and can you picture to try to put together a broken eggshell with super glue or with scotch tape? It just keeps breaking and breaking and breaking. That's the disaster of a pathologic fracture. Listen carefully. This is incredibly important for life and test. Listen carefully. The most common primary tumor in females for pathologic fracture is breast cancer. That's so important, I'm gonna say it again. The number one primary tumor in women causing pathologic fracture is breast cancer. Number two, the most common primary in men causing pathologic fracture is lung cancer, is lung cancer. So important to say it again. The most common primary tumor in men causing pathologic fracture is lung cancer. Third point. The most common primary tumor in men causing any bony metastasis is prostate. The most common primary tumor in men causing any bony metastasis is prostate. You're gonna ask me now because everyone does it. Was it, wait a minute. I thought that the most common, you know, bony metastasis in men was always prostate. It is. But lung cancer, which is the number one most common crime in men for pathologic fractures, Lung cancer tends to go to long bones, long bones, long bones, arms, legs, things like that, long bones. Prostate cancer tends to go where? Pelvis and spine. And you don't get those fractures in the same way we do with the long bones. So listen carefully to what I said. It's so important, I'm gonna say all three sentences one more time. The most common primary in females for pathologic fractures is breast cancer. The most common primary for males for pathologic is lung cancer. The most common primary in males for any bony metastasis is prostate. All right, very, very good. Let's continue. And by the way, guys, you might wonder, how do you fix a pathologic fracture? It's a disaster. You, you, you can't put, you can't screw things in. It's like an eggshell. You, you can't put plates in. You try radiation therapy to get rid of the metastasis. Oh, they're awful. They are just awful to treat. And when you first see one, you will see exactly firsthand what I mean. We got a patient, a 60 year old patient who come with fatigue and pain in 
his bones and he's anemic. And he punched out lytic lesions. And he has Bentz Jones proteins in his urine. What is that? Multiple myeloma. And of course, chemotherapy. Finally, in finishing up our orthopedics, you get a soft tissue mass. Now we're not talking about a little lipoma. We're talking about a mass. It's kind of hard and fixed. What we worry about is sarcoma. And sarcomas are not good malignancies because they have to be widely resected. And, and that's what we talked about. Remember when we talked about melanoma and the difference between wide resection on malignant melanoma versus a margin resection on a squamous cell cancer of the skin? Sarcomas have to have clean margins. And sometimes that's difficult. I mean, you're talking about, it could be a mass this big and you're taking out a chunk of someone's whatever. So sarcomas, the treatment of sarcomas, generally speaking, is surgical. Radiation therapy is fair. Chemotherapy is fair at best. It's mostly surgical. So if you see a person with a big mass, I'm not talking about a lipoma, Talking about someone with a big mass, you refer that patient and, and to an expert because you don't mess around with it. You start with a wide reception. That's all you got to know. All right, we completed orthopedics, and there was a lot of different subjects and a lot of different details. You don't have to know all the details that are in your USMLE textbook. That's used as a reference and a guide. What I taught you today is more than you will need to know for the examination and life. So with that, thank you.